Dear students of class 9th, in this video we will discuss new chapter of geography. Name of the chapter is population. In very simple sentence, we can define population as the total number of people living in a country at a given point of time. The people who constitute the population act as the producers as well as the consumers of goods and services. The main objectives of studying population is to estimate total manpower available for production. Second, the total amount of goods and services required for their consumption. We are primarily concerned with three major aspects of the population. First one that is population size and distribution. How many people are there and where they are located. Second one population growth and process of population change how the population has grown and changed through time. Third one, characteristics or qualities of population. In this, uh, we study about age composition, sex composition, literacy label, occupational structure, and health conditions of the population. After that, we will discuss about distribution of population. India's population as on March 2001 stood at 1,028 million which uh, account for 16.7% of the world's population. These 1.02 billion people are unevenly distributed over our country. Total area of our country is 3.28 million square kilometer which accounts for 2.4% of the world's area. In 2001, Uttar Pradesh with population size of 166 million people, it was the most populous state of India. Uttar Pradesh accounts for about 16% of country's population. On the other hand, the Himalayan state Sikkim has a population of just about 0.5 million and Lakshadweep has only 60,000 people. Almost uh, half of the India's population lives in five states of our country. The states are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. After that, uh, we will discuss about we will go through the slide after that uh, we will uh, discuss about distribution of population this uh, slide is showing you the population distribution in 2001 and 2011 so when we are talking about distribution of population that can be 
shown in two ways in term of absolute number and in term of density of population so with regard to the population distribution in our country what uh, we notice that population is unevenly or you can say unequally distributed in our country there are different reasons for uneven distribution of population in our country so with regard to the density of population it can be defined as number of persons living per square kilometer of land so when we are talking about uh, distribution of population what i told you we can uh, know that we can study that in term of absolute number and in term of density of population so when we study distribution of population in term of density it refers as very accurate way to study the distribution of population because it shows the number of inhabitants living and the area the ratio in between the number of people relationship in between the number of people and the land so it is considered as very perfect way of studying distribution of population the population density of india in the year 2001 was 324 persons per square kilometer density is vary from 904 persons per square kilometer in west bengal to only 13 persons per square kilometer in arunachal pradesh if we'll take the example of the areas where the density of population is uh, below 250 persons per square kilometer in those area we are getting rugged terrain unfavorable climatic condition assam and uh, most of the peninsular states have uh, moderate population density is because in this area we are getting uh, hilly dissected and uh, rocky nature of the terrain moderate to low rainfall shallow and less fertile soil so these are the regions due to which these parts are moderately populated the northern plain and kerala in the south have high to very high population densities because all of you know that great northern plain is having very fertile soil climatic condition is ambient there is abundant rainfall and above all uh, due to flat surface of the great northern plain what you might have studied in junior classes also that uh, low lying flat land is known as plain so the flat land is sufficient which helps the people to construct their houses very easily and uh, land is fertile so fertile land is providing sufficient amount of food grains to the people after that we will discuss about uh, population growth or growth of population
so when uh, we are talking about population growth it refers to the change in number of inhabitants of the country within a specific period of time it is calculated in two ways in term of absolute number and in term of percentage when we are studying about the growth of the population in term of number it refers to studying population in absolute numbers or persons in a country or a region it is calculated by subtracting the earlier population from the base year and when we are talking about uh, percentage change per year it is studies in terms of persons percent per annum example if we have 2% increase in population it means 2 persons after every 100 persons were added it is also called the annual growth rate now we'll discuss about the process of population growth there are three main processes of change of population birth rate death rate and migration birth rate it is the number of live births per thousand persons in a year it is uh, a major component of population growth in india second one death rate you can see this slide it is the number of deaths per thousand person in a year it is the main cause of the rate of growth of indian population after 1921 due to improvement in health and medical facilities epidemics like plague cholera influenza malaria etc were brought under control and consequently there was sharp decline in death rate migration it is the third component of population growth migration means movement of people across regions and territories it is generally of two types internal migration and international migration internal migration is that under which people move from one part of the country to another it can be within a state or from one state to another internal migration does not change the size of population it only changes the density of population in india main cause of internal migration is pull and push factors migration from rural to urban areas in india has taken place mainly due to rising population in rural areas second one poverty and unemployment in rural areas lack of demand for labor in agriculture increased employment opportunities better education and living standards in urban areas expansion of industrial and service sectors in the urban areas the phenomenon of migration has resulted in the steady growth of population in towns and cities urban population has increased from 17.29% in 1951 to 25.72% in 1991 after that we will discuss about international migration movement of people from one country to another is known as international migration since 1970s 
highly educated and skilled professionals have migrated from India to developed countries. So about the age composition we will discuss in the next video.